Look at that shiny, shimmering splendor. Hey everybody, it's Chucker Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we made our first foray into the frozen frontier of World 5 with the incredibly amazing N64 Yoshi who doubled as a motorcycle and then Alpine Yoshi in all of his wintry, snowflake, nosy glory. And after making our way through the first little bit, this time, time for a flying carpet cruise. I've seen in my notes that magnetism is good to have, and that scares me. <laughs> Everything's free, so I think I'm going to take my own advice. Glacier Yoshi was selected for the mission because he's boring and sucks. Oh, don't be sad there, buddy. It was a conscious choice, because if we went with something as awesome as Alpine Yoshi, the universe would just implode from things being too amazing. The magic carpet ride reacts to whatever side you're on. Jumping will cause it to go up. Be very careful of projectiles, because your movement is very limited. Be sure to maybe have an egg or two, and I think you're kind of seeing why I wanted this. Ground pounding will allow it to go down conversely, and that's your lot. That's typically how things are going to go, and now that you understand the rules, it's time to just put them into practice, doing some tricky platforming along the way. Now, okay, I've been very, very positive about Yoshi's Bully World most of the way. There have been a few levels that have been kind of stinkers, and I've voiced my frustration when that's been the case. There have been a few times where I felt like things were a little bit cheap, and... I, you know, I'm not a fan of, we're gonna put something that's going to drain your egg supply and then make you need an egg for the end of the level. Yeah. So, you know, not a perfect game, but I've been pretty positive on it. Yep. Well, I sure as heck ain't gonna be very positive about it now. Thanks, Piranha Plant. No, okay, no. I'm not like that. I think that it's very challenging. It's very interesting. It has a lot of creative level design. But there is something that I've been waiting to talk about, and I think kind of a slower stage like this would be a good opportunity to do it. There's something that I don't love about this game that I think is a pretty big deal, and I didn't want to mention it too soon because I kind of wanted you to form your own opinion on it. It's the story. Now, I'm not saying that a Yoshi game needs a great big epic involved plot about Yoshi being in the mob and being on the run from the IRS or anything crazy like that. No. I understand that it's a Yoshi platformer, and they are not big on story when I say that. However... If I may compare this to a very similar game made by the same developers just a few years earlier, by the way, Kirby's Epic Yarn had a very simple plot that didn't feel like a very simple plot because it was, you know, it was just a simple saving the world kind of thing, and it wasn't really all that involved. However, you had cute moments with the characters every few levels where you'd get to see what they were up to. You'd get to see loads of things just them being cute and things to go awe at, and it made you care about the characters a lot more. Oh my god, what has happened? I should never know what these guys look like from the front! Okay, good, I don't have to see them from the front anymore. Yeah, these guys will blow the magic carpet around. Oh, no, 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 you are not blowing me away from that collectible! Maybe you are, but not permanently. Your success is but fleeting, come on, thank you. Must collect all those. Now. Not saying it needs to have a very involved plot, but I would have appreciated cutscenes that gave us things to awe at, things to make us care about the characters more, see them doing more than just playing through these levels and saving the island from Kamek and all that stuff. I know what you're thinking, though. What about all those Poochie and Yoshi shorts that you've been showing us at the end of every video? Yeah, those are definitely closer to what I wanted, but I want you to remember, the Wii U version was the original version coming out a few years earlier, and they weren't in that. They were added later in a remake that came out years beyond this one. And let me tell you about those cutscenes. <laughs> Man, these Shy Guys really didn't want me saying anything bad about them. Don't worry, I'm on your side. I really think they are a net good. Yeah, the stop motion is great. I think stop motion is a really fantastic form of animation with loads and loads of potential. And Yoshi's Willy World in particular lends itself very well to it, allowing you to do things you might not be able to do in all stop motion. That being said, those shorts definitely started out a lot better than they've been lately. They've gotten kind of bland in the more recent shorts, and I hate to say that because I like them so much toward the beginning. They're so adorable. They get such good reactions out of people, and 
I've seen a lot of you saying that like, wow, these shorts are really good like when I was first showing them to you, but lately, the plot of them has been down to, oh, Yoshi's trying to sleep, but Poochie barked at him and woke him up, so Yoshi walked off, grabbed a blanket, and then went back to sleep. Plot over. <laughs> they haven't had a lot going on lately, and they certainly started out a lot stronger than they've been. And I also don't know how much they really count for, you know, answering that critique, because... How do I put this? Uh, in a normal playthrough, the way that you unlock them is really stupid. I'm just gonna say that straight up. You unlock them by waiting 24 hours after viewing the last one, and there's 31 of these things. How the heck is somebody gonna stick with Yoshi's Willy World for more than a month? Unless they're Let's Playing it, of course, but you know what I mean. I 100%ed this in about a week the first time that I played it. And all that was left to do once I had every collectible was just grinding the remainder of the shorts by exiting the game, changing the clock by one day, going back in, watching a movie, and then doing it again. Remember that it's 24 hours after you watch the previous one, so you can't just set the clock ahead by a month and have them all in one fell swoop. It doesn't work like that. The method of unlocking is lame. The fact that they started out a lot stronger, I think that this was the proper time to bring it up because they haven't really been all that spectacular lately. There are a few more good ones. I'm not putting it down entirely. But, wow, I missed a lot of collectibles, sheesh. His enemies are weighing down this giant magic carpet, so the size is both a blessing and a curse, keep that in mind. Um, I guess if I have anything else to say about it, it also kind of stings a little bit more, because to kind of put you in the time of when this was first released, I know the Wii U 3DS era wasn't that long ago, but plenty of people didn't own Wii U, so um, I'll explain this. It came out in a time where Nintendo games, for whatever strange reason, just refused to have a plot of any kind. <laughs> you know what I mean, the Mario games being more formulaic than before, and not even just Mario, but everything, like, just kind of feeling like it was refusing to have a plot. I mean, heck, this is the era where we got Paper Mario Sticker Star, am I right? <laughs> uh, there we are! I spent most of the level just kind of talking about that one off-topic thing, but yeah, there wasn't really a lot on screen that was new or you understood the concept right away. I've just been kind of wanting to vent this for a while because I think it really could have used some cutscenes of Yoshi and Poochie just kind of having fun and maybe even introducing the next boss and showing us what they're like, giving them a little bit more personality. It would have added a lot. A little bit of that goes a long way. Into the bonus stage, yes, we have a new one and it's based on an old favorite level concept. These platforms only appear while the veil is in front of them, but the fruit, however, is always tangible. Give me that watermelon, I'm not gonna miss that yet again. But um, but um, but um. Come on. Let's get up to round three. Whoop, there we go. Give me that. Go back up. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We're gonna get to round four. No! I should have used my tongue. 74,000 beats. <laughs> okay, okay. Screw being sparing. Screw being frugal. Screw putting away for the future. Don't take this as life advice from a grown-up, by the way. Uh, screw all of that crap. We're expending our stuff. Yes, we are. Oh, is he a dog? Panda, Panda Yoshi. Aw, look at his nose. <laughs> all right, all right, game. You got an awe out of me after I said that you were curiously aweless after the first few Yoshi and Poochie shorts. Let's go back in. I guess pandas are kind of like from the same part of the world as Magic Carpet, so that's the correlation. We're gonna go back in, and this time, uh, I'm gonna do sea hidden items to hopefully zero in on those last few flowers we couldn't find. I'm also gonna say up front, eh, fall into a pit no problem is an insult to the creativity of this level. Please don't use it on your first run, have a little fun with it, at least give it a chance before deciding if you want to just cheese it that badly. Oh, and ducking is a way to make it steadily go down. I just prefer the ground pound because of how instantaneous it is, and it'll still stop you before the death barrier at the bottom. It may not be a tool I like, but perhaps it'll be a tool that you like. Ooh, screen magic carpet's pretty nice. Glad I traded in. Aha! Oh no, no, no! <laughs> I have seen forbidden knowledge and for it I have to be killed! There's your involved dark story about Yoshi. 
Kerpow! There's the final one. Luckily for me, I have the ability to fly at will. Uh, but I don't have the ability to kill enemies at will any longer. That's kind of complicated now, isn't it? That's kind of a complicated circuit. Ah, la, 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 la. Sound like I'm singing the brother's flub over here. Okay. Eat away the spool. I'm pretty sure spool is actually the correct term this time. And that gives us the final flower. Okay, that's kind of clever that the guys with the crochet hooks stick inside of the magic carpet. I just want you to know that no matter how bad your day is today, take solace in the small bit of comfort of knowing that it's at least not as bad as that piranha plant who just thought he was going to get Yoshi so good. Panda Yoshi, you did a good job proving that you have a natural knack for magic carpets, proving that it is indeed roughly from the same part of the world that you're from. Next up is 5-4. Time for the... Fortress! I can't believe I didn't make that pun earlier! Big Montgomery! Okay, fine. A rehashed boss needs a rehashed Yoshi. Let's see what you got for me, Amiibo Hut. Dr. Mario! Who looks really cool, actually. How he's got the pill on his shell and the stethoscope in the front. I kind of want to start giving these uh, Amiibo Yoshis nicknames. I think we're going to go with Dr. Yoshio for this one. Big Montgomery's Ice Fort. Hidden objects uh, made a really good difference before. I'm going to try that one more time. Besides, anything to make me have 69,000 beads. See? Yeah. We got some slip sliding away right away. This looks very wet, and I very much appreciate how it looks. I kind of just want to rub my head on whatever this material is. It's not just ice. It's a clever, crafty use of building materials that look a lot like ice, which I, I had to praise the developers for. Uh, you are going to do what for me? Give me a door? All right. Well, I don't want to go in there quite yet. I'm not quite trusting of it. Uh, the doctor is using his hammer to go into this air pocket and collect these. Oh, this is time. Does it happen to have the audio turned down a little bit? Yes, flower is mine. Gonna replace that egg with a big one, and we have a new enemy. These are Bumpties. Very true to their name. I can't be the only one who just called these guys penguins because of Paper Mario, similar to how I called the uh, the little Mausers nomadi mice for the exact same reason. You cannot turn them into eggs. That seems to be a running trend with new enemies lately. And they'll just kind of keep going with momentum after being sped out. They're a fun mechanic, though not so fun when on slippery platforms of over bottomless pits. It's better to have them in your mouth than not. If you were to spit them out at one of these guys... Well, okay, I guess I could, didn't really demonstrate it to anybody's satisfaction right there because he uh, kind of turned around anyway, so it didn't show what happened with the crochet hook. Um, whiffed the throw, but I made up for it. Come on, Dr. Yoshio. Hey, I guess you could say the doctor is making a house call to this boss. Too easy. Okay. Uh, Piranha Plant, you are guarding something. I wonder if I'll ever get to see the feet of a Piranha Plant. In Super Smash Brothers, you kind of do a little bit how he's got like little nubs that are poking out of the bottom of the pot. I haven't seen a lot of people pointing that out that Piranha Plant has feet now, but what do I know? Maybe I just don't really hang around the right corners of the internet, but... I think I'd, I'll show them to you now because they're they're really cute. <laughs> like his little nubs. What are these seat belts these are moving up and down on? Well, I guess we can't really know now, can we? I'm uh, going to take the rest of those beads. Going to keep turning my feet into skis. Sounds like a bad Bigfoot joke. And then there's just some twinklies. One of them is slightly twinklier than the others because it's a Meaver stamp. You can kindly shut your mouth. You know, I gotta really not like you when I'm saying that to you and I don't even talk. Uh, there's another one. No! Saw that coming! Saw that coming! No! Okay, good. We're fine. Oh, no, 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 no. That. Okay. I, I don't know why I think this, but. We we've seen, like, Christmas lights in the background serving as light sources, but. That oddly looks festive to me. I don't know if maybe that's. Maybe it looks like a star on top of a tree. Maybe it looks like a, a manger scene that I've seen before. Uh, 
I don't know. It just, it kind of looks very, very festive. I'm not really sure why it is. It's, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to, like, name any holiday in particular because I don't want to say something from Judaism and say, like, oh, that looks Christmassy. I don't want to do that. Uh, we got flying bumpties right there. Gonna eat the floor again. There's been a curious absence of floor eating lately, but thankfully it's... Well, what am I saying? No, we've actually eaten the floor in the last level. Never mind. I guess I've just kind of developed a taste for it. Now I can't get enough. It's okay, though. I don't think anybody's gonna be too mad if I eat their floor because they weren't gonna eat it themselves. And... Oh, this room! Oh, this one's cool! This one's really cool. Just beads galore. Absolutely a Mardi Gras party in here. And then, I never imagined Big Montgomery to be such a fantastic art connoisseur. And I feel kind of bad that I just came into his house and after all the trouble that it must have taken to arrange that to look as pretty as it did inside of his humble abode, I just destroyed it all. I added it to my count and I'm gonna go buy things with it to make myself more powerful so I can pound his face in even harder. Him and his friends, no less. Man, this really is just like, <laughs> okay, I, I don't mean to like be overly negative though, but <laughs> this really is just like a video of the complaints, because <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we're fighting Big Montgomery for the third time. He was not really that interesting the first time, but I guess somebody liked him and thought we'd get mileage out of him. Bumpties do kill each other if they're launched at one another. I guess your saliva changes their faction or something. It's another unique property of Yoshi's saliva. Uh, however, this guy here is kind enough to show Hidden Illusion Wall, and we still have not missed a collectible. Good, good. I think I've chosen the right badge here. There's this hidden little air pocket. They seem to like using those to, a lot. Speaking of which, they're using them a lot. And in we go. Into another hidden pocket, another flower. That's number four. I would have flipped if there were actually more of them uh, that we had missed within that stretch of time. Oh, whoa, uh, okay. Well. Ha! Thought you were gonna get me? Nope. I got a PhD. There we go. Get in there. Doesn't look like I can ride that one up, but this one, on the other hand, looks rather promising. Mm hmm. All that for a Meeper stamp. I felt like I earned a bundle of Wonderwall. Take a green egg, probably the first one that we've actually done. Whoa! I was about to say I'll have some ham with it, but this thing was not very kind to that joke. Skiing on the inside. I'll take you. And where are you going? Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. Thought for a second there might not be. Uh, there's our Wonder Wall. Is that going to be number four? Yes. Okay. Still feeling good about all this. That looks like a really dopey face. <laughs> it looks like a really silly smile. I just kind of like it. All right, uh, gonna go under here. Crushing does exist. You can instantly die from it. Just being warned. Uh, just making sure that you are warned. Okay, gonna wait patiently. Get those, and I'm not going to wait patiently anymore because I am too good for that. I have bested you, you ice block you. I'm less patient than an ice block. I, don't, I really don't know what that means. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, take out that bumpty. You're not gonna bumpty me into a bottomless pit. No, you're not. And sponge blocks. Haven't seen these in a while. Just some hearts. All right. Uh, come on. Come along, bumpty. My sal my faction changing saliva shall show you the light and the error of your ways. It's like Wonder Woman's Truth Lasso, but way lamer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come over here. And by going to the source, a little bow to undo. And we'll throw, wow, uh, collateral damage right there. It's always so fun and satisfying whenever you throw an egg at something to do something required and then it just plinks off of a wall and then hits an enemy in the back that you weren't even aiming at. It's great. It uh, looks like there's a very patriotic Yoshi. Personally, I thought that uh, snow is more of a Canadian thing than an American thing, but I guess we just have to take it for our own like everything else now, don't we? Through the boss door! Every collectible in hand, let's do this! Ooh, I'm gonna go sledding down this background. Oh, Yoshi had the same idea!
You again? Of course it's you again! Okay, time to chill out, Yoshikins! Time for you to get more creative, Kamek. Big Montgomery is back with a vengeance. Yeah, he's interesting. He'll go into these ice blocks, push him up, and launch you up into the ceiling to hurt you. He stays there for a little bit. This is what happens when I talk instead of do. He stays there for a bit, allowing you to ground pound him back down and then pound on his bum. That's kind of what you do when Big Montgomery is around. It's why he's got a band-aid over his butthole. Uh, we got some money moles that turn into uh, turn into snowballs. I almost said cotton balls on the way down. I wouldn't have still been technically wrong, but still not quite the accurate thing that I was hoping for. Um, when he is on your plane, he will try to attack you, but just hit, merely hitting him with an egg will push him back down. So when he's on your plane, hit him with an egg, and he'll go away very quickly, allowing you to do this boss a lot sooner. You guys are easy to predict. You guys are even easier to predict. And you uh, just really only cover about a quarter of the screen, so you're even less threatening than all of your minions put together. Big Montgomery, you are just so pitiful. I don't know why Kamek keeps bringing you back. Apparently somebody likes you. I'm kind of letting him attack me a little bit here just so you can get a feel for what it's like. His minions will come in and try to distract you while he's rushing at you, but it's not really threatening. It's I'll give it points that it's different from the other fights and at least a little bit creative, so it's definitely not as bad as it was. On the third go, he will do three cycles before coming back up and then pound on his bum all over again, and that is all. You got a brown helmet, it matches my shoes very nicely. That's why I jump on your head, to be aesthetically pleasing. New power badge, all you can eat fire watermelon. You know what fire watermelons do and you know what all you can eat watermelon does? Pretty sure you can piece that together. And the reward is a very tacky looking frostbite Yoshi. May you not give frostbite to whoever calls you tacky because I'm sure you've heard it throughout your entire life. Ooh, aw, oh, he stuck up a tree. That's okay, he only wants to cause us trouble. It's his only purpose in life. Well, that's half a world five down, so next time on Yoshi's Woolly World, a little light snowfall. See you guys then. <laughs>